welcome everybody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, strange, beautiful world of Facebook. <laughs> Um, we're really hoping you can hear us. We had a few gre gremlins to get here, but we are live for the Children's Forest this evening, sharing songs from the Song Forest. Um, this, these are like dear friends of mine. This is Kushni Love, my beloved. This is Anna Richardson, and this is Jack Dirtnall, and they are from the Children's Forest, and um, maybe Anna wants to share something about it. And it's just such an honor to be doing this. The reason we're doing this is just so that the, it reaches through the mycelium networks, and that we vote for the Children's Forest um, and that you enjoy this beautiful evening of song from us. Oh, yeah, thank you everybody. It's wonderful to be with you even though we can't see you and just want to offer a heartfelt gratitude especially to Carrie um, and Krishni for coming and yeah, scooping into the Children's Forest Heartwood team to come and share music tonight and wanted to just share a little bit about the Song Forest because our project Children's Forest is planting trees in the ground with the children and that's for um, the children of the future generations and the children of all the species too to wish them a beautiful world to inherit and yeah that our actions can support that but alongside that we're also planting a Song Forest and these are songs that have been called in and created and written and from lots of different people um, to celebrate the trees particularly that's how it started and um, yes yeah, so we want to share some of those with you today and hope that you really enjoy them and that and that through the songs that you can feel yeah the deep reverence that we have for the trees and for all their many gifts every single species has so many gifts that some that we know and many many that we don't know and probably never will because they're deeply mysterious beings so yeah, we'd love to start because it's May and I'm sure you've all noticed that the May blossom is absolutely incredible at the moment. They are just shining in all the hedgerows and um, yeah, so we'd love to sing for the May tree and yeah, it's a call and response song. So, And this, um, yeah, this is a very spontaneous gig so I just want to honour the fact that <laughs> due to all the uh, digital... Um, I don't know, mycelium and a mystery of the digital world, we haven't had a lot of time to come together and practice, so we're offering you our hearts and uh, we hope it, and we hope you enjoy it. Apart from the thousands of years that we had rambling around in various oh, yes. landscapes before this, but we're a little bit rusty sometimes because we've <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hawthorn green, Hawthorn green, tender in springtime, tender in springtime, fresh young leaves, fresh young leaves, Hawthorn white, Hawthorn white, flowers of May like flowers of May like dance of love, dance of love, Hawthorn red, generous berries, generous berries, tree of heart. Tree of heart, Hawthorn bear, Hawthorn bear, sleeping in winter, sleeping in winter, fairies dream, fairies dream, Hawthorn green, Hawthorn green, tender in springtime, tender in springtime, fresh young leaves, fresh young leaves, Hawthorn white, Hawthorn white, flowers of May, like flowers of May, like dance of love. Dance of love, Hawthorn red, Hawthorn red, generous berry, generous berry, tree of heart, tree of heart, Hawthorn bear, Hawthorn bear, sleeping in winter, sleeping in winter, berries dream, berries dream, Hawthorn green, Hawthorn green, tender in springtime, tender in springtime, fresh young leaves. Fresh young leaves, Hawthorn white, Hawthorn white. Flowers of May, like flowers of May, like dance of love, dance of love. So thank you to the Hawthorn tree. Mm. <laughs> yeah, known in the old old language as Hua, as one of the pronunciations of the old way of saying Hawthorn in the Celtic languages. 
Um, that's an Irish pronunciation as I've heard it from Diana Beres of Kruger. Um, and yeah, the Hawthorn blossoms are out at the moment. And if you put your face to the blossoms and, and take a sniff of those beautiful flowers, the, the medicine of the Hawthorn literally goes into your bloodstream and is really healing for the heart and, and tonifying for the circulatory system. So those gifts science does understand. And there are many more um, magical and unseen gifts of the Hawthorn too. And mm. it's to be deeply enjoyed at this time of year. And, yeah. um, and we also just want to say right now, in case we haven't said it, that please vote for the Children's Forest. So we're doing this to spread this out um, across the world. And there's, there'll be a link in the bottom of this video. Um, it's childrensforest.earth forward slash vote. And we're voting for um, their being nominated for national lottery funding, which is super exciting. Like the Children's Forest do the most magical things I've ever seen. Like it's the most beautiful project. Um, I mean, maybe you want to say a little bit about what you do. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, this voting is actually supporting a specific part of our work called Forest from Seed. So um, we work with, in forest school with the children and teaching them about the trees through songs and stories and craft and um, wild food foraging as well. And um, learning about the gifts of the trees and then learning how to plant those trees from seed and then those seeds are then germinated and tended in our tree nurseries and then they become the saplings to be planted out later in the children's forest so we're really hoping to inspire um, more schools to take this up and more communities and more forest school um, facilitators to get inspired by this project so that we can work with more children and communities to go out into our landscape and discover the healthiest mother trees and gather their seeds and plant the next generation of trees and look after them because it's something that we can do as a beneficial species as part of the ecosystem and you know normally um, the seeds from a, a tree well not so many so I think one mature oak may end up producing one mature oak um, in its lifetime from all those millions of acorns but when human beings come in and help to gather those acorns and look after them and protect them and um you know and guard them from the deer and actually you know that that one mature oak could end up having thousands and thousands of children so that is something that we can really do and we're really keen to do that work with more people so that's what this particular funding will be for for the forest from seed so yeah. And the voting is just till the 25th of this month, so it's only like how many days left? Till Thursday, I think. Till Thursday, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's funny, I've never been so excited about this sort of stuff in my life. Like, never been one of those people like, please vote for something, but I feel so passionate about it because I've been in the forest with the children's forest doing some of the training, and it, it's, it's just so deeply touching to see how it combines song with uh, with spirit, with earth, with practical connection and with vision for, for children really visioning into the future in such a beautiful, positive way. And um, yeah, I just want pe more people to see this and experience it. So I feel like a little like crazy person running around <laughs> saying, please vote, but it just makes such a difference. You just press the button and it takes a few seconds and yeah, hopefully, hopefully it helps, yeah. <laughs> So this is called Drua Drue and I wrote this um, for a really beautiful massive oak tree near where I live, over near Bath. Come for the two. 
The birds. the birds really enjoyed that one. <laughs> the birds loved that one. Look at the Danik really enjoying that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm happy with that. Thank you, Carrie. That was lovely. Was such a beautiful, yeah. beautiful song. Yeah. yeah. It's very ancient and honorary. Is it working out there? People hearing us and seeing us. Okay. Thank you. 
So this um, next song is in honour of the beech tree and um, came from a camp um, where the Reverend Jones and I um, held for a group of women and we were telling stories and journeying with the beach and the trees there in the um, Forest of Dean and from our time together in that, in that forest um, Dawn Casey wrote the, the beautiful words to this song and then the melody came to River Jones and many of the tree songs have come through River so I really want to thank you River and um, yeah we really hope you enjoy this song in honour of the great Mother Beach who yeah, is one of the main mother trees in our forest who through the wood wide web and through her roots she really looks after many of the trees in in the forest so great gratitude to her oh and we've been going out with the children and gathering beech leaves at this time of year to um to serve in our forest cafes as salad but also to make beech leaf sushi which is a great favorite with Delicious. the kids um, and then in the autumn later on we'll be gathering the beech nuts and roasting them and toasting them on the fire and um, eating them as snacks as well as of course planting them 
in the um, in their forest. So. Shining gold, strong and wise, Mother of be true, be true, deep, deep down, deep, deep down, anchoring, anchoring, sunshine crown, sunshine crown, be charmed. Reaching one, reaching one, shelter little, shelter little, ones inside, ones inside, beach leaf, beach leaf, dappled green, dappled green, shade and light, shade and light, in harmony, in harmony, beach skin. Smooth and scar, smooth and scar, perfect beauty, perfect beauty, never marred, never marred, beach queen, beach queen, matriarch, matriarch, power and grace, power and grace, in our hearts, in, in our hearts, beach heart. Shining gold, shining gold, strong and wise, strong and wise, mother of, mother of, be true, be true, deep, deep down, deep, deep down, anchoring, anchoring, sunshine crown, sunshine crown, be joy. Reaching wide, reaching wide, shelter little, shelter little, ones inside, ones inside, beach leaf, beach leaf, dappled green, dappled green, shade and light, shade and light, in harmony, in harmony, beach skin. Smooth and scarred, smooth and scarred, perfect beauty, perfect beauty, never marred, never marred, beach queen, beach queen, matriarch, matriarch, power and grace, power and grace, in our hearts, in our hearts. Dawn and River for that beautiful song. Mm. Thanks to the May that is shining so beautifully, emerald green at the moment, and yeah, making our forest so luminescent. Such a beautiful tree. Mm. Thank you to all those of you that are joining. And if you just joined, we're, we're here in support of the Children's Forest who are up for this wonderful um, funding opportunity from the ITV People's Projects. Um, and it's very exciting that Children's Forest in the finals and the specific. Um, branch of the children's forest that is in the running for that is the forest from seed project um, trees from seed nursery um, to help that spread and propagate that even further um, planted by children for for the hope and well-being of the future thank you for joining us do the willow yeah. Yeah. so really want to put um, out a big um, yeah thank you to the willow trees and they're so important for our wildlife um and as well of course the basket makers as well um but i've learned recently that the nectar from the willow is very specifically important to queen bees and specifically has an amino acid called lysine in it that is essential for the queen bee to receive in order to make her brood 
Um, and there are actually only a limited amount of sources of that particular ingredient, um, including in dandelions. So when dandelions are in flower, let them do their thing because they're mm. very important to the bees. And also we really need more willow trees to support our bees. And of course, without the bees, we wouldn't have um, our fruit trees, all those fruits that we have, well, many of them in our fruit bowl, the apples and the pears, and, um, and then, you know, in our um, wider um, um, forest here, we need them also for the hawthorn and, and the blackthorn, so many trees that actually really rely on that very important um, animal, the bee. So let's um, honour them and honour the willow as well for its important role in the, in the lives of the bees. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very easy to propagate willow by the way you don't even have to get their seeds you can just um, take a little cutting and um, that cutting just put it into some damp earth and um, it will just grow so just go ahead and propagate the willow trees one of the superpowers of the willow it's one of the yeah. superpowers of the willow it has very amazing powers of growth so yeah mm -hmm. Um, yes, and in um, the old law of willow, just to add a little bit of that as well, um, I say willow is the tree of expression and it helps us um, to learn how to express ourselves and Sally is actually the old name of um, willow and in, in Irish and in the tree ogham, which I might talk to you a bit about later, which plays quite a big part in our um, work with the children in the forest. It's the uh, old Celtic tree alphabet. And Sally actually also means to leap and to express. So it has this power of expression, but also of vision. Because of course, before you leap, you need to see where you're going. <laughs> so, and a basket maker also has to have the vision of the basket that they want to weave while they're weaving it. So in lots of different ways, willow is a tree of vision and of helping us to have our vision and move towards it in a really good way. So that's partly what this song is about in honour of the willow. Willow dream. Willow dream with your roots in the water. Willow dance with your leaves in the sky. Graceful and green, you're the forest man's daughter. Grow the green willow, green willow. Down by the brook with her feet in the water, stands the green willow, green willow. And she dances and sways in the heart of the wind sound. Grow the green willow, green willow. Oh, 
the green widow, green widow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to the willows. <laughs> yeah, we had to spend so long setting up for this gig with all the many wires and the many different um, digital mysteries that spread out before us like a unknown labyrinth. But we didn't have an enormous amount of time to put our set list together but then that's how the earth works right? You've just mm. got to be adaptable and things grow at different times every year and every concert things grow at different times, <laughs> different songs spring up when you weren't expecting them. You know what I've realised about doing online events, just in case anyone ever finds yourself doing online events, which I forgot about, is that you need to make an altar for the digital gremlins. It's very important. You need to, this has really, really helped me, and I forgot. Through lockdown, I was doing those online concerts, and I completely forgot. And, and, the, and I've really tried this and learned the hard way. You need to offer, if you can, a glass of whiskey and a candle, and just give a few moments of offering to the digital gremlins, it really, really helps. I just wanted to leave that little tip because it might save people hours of stress. That's what we forgot. Yeah, I know, oh. I know. I only remembered last minute. I know, I'm really sorry about that. Don't feel sorry. The strange mystical force that creates technical glitches. It's, yeah, you've got to give an offering. The blessings, we are here. And would like, I'd like to share this song. And this is, this is uh, a, a, a simple, simple song. And it is a... Um, because when we sing, we uh, direct our energy uh, as a prayer. Um, so we can direct our energy with the song, amplifying our prayer in the direction in which we choose to, to send it. Yes. So this song is, is for the trees, it's for the earth, it's for the stars, and it's for your hearts.
Um, the dear friends who are hosting this event mm. in this incredible setting in their garden <laughs> yeah. and they've put all these beautiful um, yeah, seating and rugs and candles and made it all so lovely. Thank you Nikki and Alex. Yeah, thank you mm. so much. And you're all your family, you yeah. are incredible hosts. Thank oh, you. Yes. Lovely. And the heartwood of the children's forest. Yeah. Amazing beings. So, yeah. Mm. You, everybody, everybody in the team, and everybody out there as well, supporting us by listening in. I, I don't know, but I'm that feeling, yeah, 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 coming out to have a little munch. So this, this song is for the apple trees, um, for our eating apples, and also for the wild apples, known as the crab apples as well. Um, and at this time of year, they're also feeding the bees with their gorgeous pollen. Um, and that's one of the gifts they're giving right now at this moment. Um, yeah, so for the apple trees. And one of the beautiful things about apple is, if you cut an apple um, horizontally, um, it reveals this beautiful five-pointed star in the middle. So there's this kind of heart, heart star at the centre of the apple. It's a real, real gift, and it's a very healing thing to eat an apple. It's actually good medicine as well as good food. Um, so, yeah. Oh, apple tree, apple tree, sing your sweet song and dance in the orchard the whole year long. Bright blossoms are belting, sweet apples are sour, gifting your magic throughout the year. My five petal flowers of pink and white hold nectar for bees in the springtime bright, while May crowns you weave on the dusk of May. Here I will bloom for the bees to enjoy. Oh, apple tree, apple tree, sing your sweet song and dance in the forest the whole year long. Bright blossoms that belt and sweet apples that sour, gifting your magic throughout the year. With healing power and fruit and flower, I swell and grow through long summer. With white apple friends, your bodies we tend, sharing our medicine crisp and fine. Oh, apple tree, apple tree, sing your sweet song and dance in the forest the whole year long. Bright blossoms are belting, sweet apples and sour. Grow round my trees, by blessings casting in blessings on us. So it once was, it is, and shall be. Oh, apple tree, apple tree, sing your sweet song and dance in the forest the whole year long. Grow blossoms that belt in sweet apples and sour, dipping your magic throughout the year. Oh, hidden within me, the star at my core. Shining treasure I hold in store While gifts we 
we share with love and care. The better for us and the better for all. Oh, apple tree, apple tree, sing your sweet song and dance in the forest the whole year long. Bright blossoms that belt in sweet apples that sound, gifting your magic throughout the year. Oh, apple tree. The apple trees of all kinds. Yay. Oh, I love these so, so much. <laughs> Such a good it's song. So if you just join us, we're, we're in the running for a wonderful funding opportunity from the ITV People's Projects with some other wonderful projects. But it's a very simple process. If you would like to vote for us as the Children's Forest, representing the Children's Forest here, Forest from Seed, um, propagating hope for the future generations with the human children planting the forests, um, you can go and vote, and it's children's forest forward slash earth. I know for children's forest dot earth forward slash vote. There we go. Children's forest dot earth forward slash vote. And it's probably written somewhere very close to where our faces are on a little screen <laughs> near you. So great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank it's a very you easy so process. Much. Yeah. And also, um, just to say, this is the song forest. So a lot of these songs are a collection from the song forest, and we're also hoping to propagate. Um, more songs to be written and sung and created throughout the land and beyond for in celebration of nature and all the plants and trees and um, the waters, the sky. And uh, these are to be sung, you know, we sing a lot of these songs with children and the communities that we're working with. Um, and we just love to spread the seed of that to as many as possible as well. Like, please create songs of your own as well and if you'd like to plant them in our song forest we are creating an online song forest which will be a free resource where you can go in and just look in the song forest at different groves of songs there'll be songs for the trees songs for the plants um waters different times of year and we'd just love to receive your songs and plant them in there yeah. so that we can have more um more hearty songs in our culture yeah so if you have any or know any, please get in touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it always used to be so daunting for me, the idea of writing a song for the ash or a song for the oak, because I just wouldn't know how to start trying to capture the whole thing in one song. But then, as Anna reminded me, you don't just have one song for the oak tree, we have many songs for the oak tree, and like many songs for you know all the different seasons and the different thing that we love about them, and, and that just sort of opens it up. So it's just like the more... We need more. We need mm. more for mm. our song for us. So just, if that helps anyway, just, uh, and you do have any songs of trees that you feel like sharing with us, we'd so love to hear it, to add it into the forest and mm. grow it. And, and then it just becomes healthier and healthier. And, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and also we can get over this block that um, only certain people write songs. Yeah. And only certain people sing songs, because um, it never used to be that way. I think it was a yeah. lot more... Uh, Everybody singing, <laughs> and yeah, not it's more of a diverse habitat. More of a diverse, and, yeah, habitat. rich habitat. Yeah. <laughs> so, talking of which, maybe we should sing the own song. Yeah. Actually, Sounds so good. Carrie, um, hopefully we're there at the beginning of the gig to hear mm -hmm. Carrie's beautiful, beautiful honouring of the oak um, with her song there, and yeah, it's so special. And we we've also got a song that we're singing with the children. Um, most of the songs that we're sharing with it about the trees have ver um, verses and choruses and part of the reason for that um, as an old um, way of writing songs is because it's easy for people to learn the chorus um, and then you know when you're working with children you can just sing the chorus and that can be the song and then if <coughs> later on you want to add in the verses you can bring them in um, so this also it has a chorus and it will come around many times and maybe um, maybe by the end of this song and towards the end of the song you'll be singing the choruses with us and we would love that so we'd like to send this out as a thank you to the oak um, who is the keystone species of our forest and really of this land and can t one mature oak tree can support over 2,000 different species from tiny lichens and mosses to tiny insects and fungi and then all the many animals and um, birds that also um, come
come and live in its branches and eat the acorns and you know we teach the children about how to eat the acorns as well which is really important food and uh, yeah there's just certain processes you need to to know about but you know our ancestors definitely would have been eating those acorns too so just want to celebrate the oak mm. for nourishing so many thousands of beings and um, also being the timbers and the frame for many of our homes still today uh, so shelter and nourishment you can see why in in the old um, law of our land it was called the king of the forest because it really is the guardian of so many uh, different beings so I'd like to send this out to the oak to say thank you for that yeah. mm. it's really shining gift.
in peace and strength you guard this land. Oh, go, 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 King of trees in your crown of gold, you are the door to worlds unseen. In winter bare and in summer Blessings and thanks to all the oaks that really support our land to thrive in, in biodiverse abundance and really give to so many in so many different ways. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. And they're one of the easiest trees to plant. So next time you see an acorn under an oak, just <laughs> gather it up and plant it somewhere. Yeah. Something magical I learned today is that the, the fallen oak leaves contain um, a, a stimulating phytochemical for the acorns under the ground so they're actually even with their falling leaves like the ancestors if you will of the the previous year's leaves are nourishing the future generations to actually literally physically grow which is really exciting just learned that today it's really cool. Carrie's really not feeling well, yet she's like calling on her deepest reserves and to the and representing the insect kingdom or the slug, the yeah, slug she's family, slug exactly, the invertebrates <laughs> and the way they use slime to create movement. The sacred spiral dance of the slugs. Yes. Thank you Carrie. Call on the spirit of the slugs to help. But not too much because then we'll be able to No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Call on the spirit of the fresh spring the fresh water fresh pouring through. Yeah, clear. Clear pathways, clear air, Plenty clear air, air. <laughs> clear airways. In fact, that's perfect. You know what? The amazing thing is that the elder yeah. is actually so. This song is about the elder, elder tree, and um, in fact, its medicine is it that it is a tree of the healing pathways. So inside its um, wooden stems and trunk, it has this pithy core. So, and it's actually in a certain way that it's kind of hollow. It's got air that flows through its, um, its wood, through its actual heart. And it is a tree that is good for clearing the pathway. So um, the medicine is for treating fevers to help open the pores of the skin so you can you know, clear out illness and also it's really good for blocked noses. <laughs> it's good, it's, it's healthy. really good for sinuses. Hay fever. It's amazing yeah. for hay fever, for coughs of all kinds and is a dreaming tree for dreaming to the other realms so it was used also as a spirit dreaming tree um, and that's why they say you should be careful of sleeping under an elder at midsummer because um, it is a doorway to the fairy realm so <clears throat> health and safety announcement <laughs> for all you people health, who love health health and sleeping out under trees. Um, and this song was, the words were written by Dawn Casey, Dear Dawn, and these um, um, these songs are all in the children's forest, but well most, sorry not all of them, some of these songs are in the children's forest book which was written by Dawn Casey, myself and Helen Dasley. Yeah, with the aim of really spreading the um, appreciation for trees through song. And uh, yeah, this is the song.
lovely story to this Holly song actually too which is um, we ventured out a group of us into the woodlands and it was a, a winter a winter's morning and uh, we went to go meet the holly tree and we all gathered the wood from the holly to make a holly fire and uh, the little tiny twigs of the holly just underneath that are just perfect kindling in the winter and uh, and so we made a pure holly fire and, and we discovered to our wonderment that it just sounded like tinkling bells. It was absolutely amazing and the, the warmth and light that came out of the wood of the holly was just so incredible. It just felt really amazing. Um, and then in those holly trees where we were, we'd all been like going out and meeting the holly and discovering that the deer had been lying down and, and seeking protection under those holly trees and that you know we discovered that often the deer go and seek those places for sanctuary and you can find the little deer hairs where they go and um, and yeah we had a very magical time um, doing a meditation with the holly tree with the drum and having this journey and, and um, on my way home from that day I started to like uh, get some words for this holly song and and it started to kind of come. I felt like, oh, there's a holly song. It wants to come. It wants to come. And so, 
so I got to the, so the words came and that was through this experience that we'd all shared uh, but I couldn't at all find a tune for it it was like a blank and and so I, I rang up my my friend River I think I saw her actually and we went for a walk together and I'd written the words down I said River I can't find the melody for this song and I gave her the words said look see if you can find the melody for this song and and so she took it home and a few days later I got this amazing uh, message from her or, um, I well and she told me the story that she'd woken up just before dawn and and she'd gone downstairs into the kitchen she just opened the curtains just as, as the dawn light was coming and she just opened the curtains exactly at the time when it started to snow and she was just watching these flakes coming down and as she was watching the flakes coming down the melody just came straight down for the holly song and that was how it happened so it's a, it's a lovely lovely um magical thing and this so this is in honor of the holly tree and of course holly means holy it comes from yeah the sacred um you know, holding of its sacredness that our people once had and once understood that it's a tree of yeah, unconditional love and, and yeah it bears the, this four petaled flower which is the cross which is the sacred doorway of, of the heart it's really a tree of the heart and it was also um, considered a protector of the heart a protector of the heart of our land so um, yeah warriors would sometimes make their um, their spears, their, their walking sticks, their, um, um, or carry holly with them as a protection that comes from the heart of the land. Um, and it also is said to protect from storms as well, from lightning. Mm. Um, and there's new science around that too, that the holly leaves dissipate um, electricity. So, yeah. So, this is in honour of. Maybe we could teach them, teach people at home the chorus so they could join in as well. Yeah, it would you be feel nice like to you have. could do that. Yeah, so if you'd like to join in singing from where you are, um, we'll teach you this, this chorus repeats throughout the song that's very lovely and, and mesmeric. So, um, Oh, holy, oh, holy tree. That's the first line. Let's do it together. Oh, holy, oh, holy tree. And the next line goes, how green you grow, green in sun and green in snow. How green you grow, green in sun and green in snow. So let's try those two lines together and we'll do it with a guitar. So here we, let's try it together. Oh, holy, oh, holy tree. How green you grow, green in sun and green in snow. Great, one more time. Oh, holy, oh, holy tree. How green you grow, green in sun and green in snow. Lovely, so feel free to join in with the song from where you are as we sing it together. And um, mm. perhaps we could also use our imaginations a bit and call the trees into this experience as well. And we work a lot with the children with imagination. So we'd like to just invite you to imagine for a moment be sitting in a beautiful forest and um, perhaps <coughs> you could be sitting around a, a beautiful holly fire and around in the forest here you can see the the holly the beautiful holly and just in in your mind in this moment just picture the holly the shapes of the leaves and the way that the light shines on those on that shiny shiny leaf and yeah the feeling of those trees and just have a sense of the feeling of those trees while we're singing the song together Your blood red berries, blackbird. 
birds and the thrushes cherry. Oh, holy, oh, holy tree. Any songs with butt in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that one about the bumblebee. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so we basically got three songs left. So I guess. Well, no, we can go a bit later. We want to make stuff. Let's do all my family. So, yeah, okay, so I have a song I'd like to share. It's not a tree song, but it's, it's, it's called All My Family. And of course, um, the project is for the children of all species. Mm -hmm. So this is a song for the, 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 the children of our species. Uh, as, we, yeah. as, we, as we awaken, as we awaken to the hearts of ourselves, as the wisdom of ourselves, to the wisdom of our forest, to the wisdom of our land, to the wisdom of our ancestry, to the wisdom of who we truly are, then we come into right relation with ourselves. We come into right relation with each other and we come to right relation with the nature and the very nature that we are.
feel so strong Sleeping beauties looking through me for too long I can feel it in the essence, now I hear the song In the here and the now, it's where we belong Shed the illusions of the past, now bring it on Forgiveness is the key for humanity Why feed another hate in their poverty? Everybody is our family, now on the we Where my soldiers of peace and hold on me All is already well now, you follow me Can you find it in your heart to make a fresh start? Eternity is way too long for us to tear apart What is it to us and what is so close? Every single moment can we make the most? Every single moment can we make the most? Yeah, just want to put a shout out to our local birds who've been singing with us <laughs> so thanks to them for joining us they're the best with their fine fine voices <laughs> yeah <laughs> couldn't hope for any better <clears throat> accompaniment um, co-singers talking of which maybe that leads us to the older song yeah yeah which is great. well 
it's it's gonna try and lead into a segue about birds but then everything went blank but birds love alder trees <laughs> they commonly sit in them and it's smooth the, yeah yeah do you like that segue into an older appreciation them. moment birds and alders they're really good friends birds sit here, yeah. it's getting quite late sorry <laughs> Trees. Trees birds are brilliant. Alders <laughs> <laughs> are great and birds love trees. We it's need so trees good. for birds. Yeah. Exactly. All of these things Where would you are nest if you were true. In a tree. As you, unless you're a ground nester. That's true. But then there's no diversity then. Gosh, it's a real conversation. Yeah, it's a real conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to just sing this older song. I am the older I grow by the water Hold the banks firm Hold the banks firm I am the older I grow by the water Hold the banks firm Hold the banks firm Thank you all so much for joining us yeah. for the celebration of the trees and the land and our human gift of song um, and that our ancestors have brought through to share in this moment in this particular gathering, but hopefully that will ripple out. Um, and uh, this is a, an exciting opportunity to support Hope for the Future for the Forest from Seed project and this short handful of days um, where there's an opportunity for people at home like you and, and our friends to um, go online 
at the children's forest uh, forward slash vote and to support this project by just simply voting for um, uh, the children's forest to win the, the funding opportunity from the ITV People's Project, which is very exciting. So thank you so much for being in support of that and for voting. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. So we'd love to finish our um, evening with sharing you, with you uh, the Tree Blessing song, which is uh, the song that we sing at all the children's forests once we've planted them. And in fact, every time that we return to them, we finish our um, visit by singing this song to them. And we hope that this song will help them to grow into the ancient forests we wish them to become. So we, um, maybe some of you listening already know it and we'll sing it three times. And I'm actually gonna just do it with the um, gestures that we use with the children as well. Um, and that might help you to sing it along too. So we'll sing this for, really for not only the children's forest, but for all the trees, in fact, that, you know, they get to live to be um, elders. And it's really important that we plant new forests, but it's equally, and maybe more important even, that we protect the elders mm. and uh, mm. really help them to, to become ancient trees. So, mm. Yeah, so this is for the trees. Erica? Yeah, Erica, would you like to come oh, yeah. and sing it with us? Yeah. Going to invite Erica Shorter, who's one of the Key Heartwood members, to come and sing with us. Yeah. Eric has also been doing all um, the <laughs> wonderful work um, together with Emma. Emma, why don't you come and sing with oh, us? Yeah. Oh. Come on, come on, Emma. Emma. Come on. <laughs> oh, she's hiding. Okay, she's hiding right now. But she will one day. You will know her face. <laughs> but we really want to thank particularly Emma and Eric. We've been doing so much work to share videos and to share what we do with you. And yeah, so grateful to you. So, alright, so you start like this, in your hands by your heart. We sing a blessing to the trees, may golden sun shine through your leaves, may rain fall clear and fair winds blow, that ancient forest here may grow. May rain fall clear and fair winds blow, that ancient forest here may grow. We sing our blessing to the trees, may golden sun shine through your leaves. May rain fall clear and fair winds blow, that ancient forest may grow. May rain fall clear and fair winds blow, that ancient forest here may grow. Blessing. Good night. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you everybody. And please share this news with anyone that you think of. Please mm. just share it on your wall, show it to your friends. It just will help us so much. We can't see how many people are voting, so it's like, it's mysterious and it's exciting. But if you just have a second, it will help us so much. And any time, anything you share or you comment, it just helps it spread out. So we're so grateful. Thank you for sharing this time with us. Thank you so much for being with everyone. Thank you. Wish you a beautiful year ahead. Bye. Bye. <laughs>